guys, today is going to be a full episode of my Fire Alarm and Exit Sign Collection. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have a lot of them going on. Going on. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here we have the Simplex Dual Action Pull Station. Right? This one is True Double Action Pull Station. And I'm going to pull it down. So the way to pull down the pull station, all you literally have to do is you're going to take this um thing, uh, grab that grab that little knocker, slam it down, like do it do it like a, a couple times. And pull the T bar in it. So yeah. And this one doesn't this one doesn't close because once again the lock is already locked and the pull station is pretty really open. And basically when you pull down the pull station, this thing is being loaded. Yeah, so that's the Simplex Dual Action Pull Station. All right, now we're going to go order by order. So right here we have the Potter Pull Station, but this is Dual Action. So this one's actually different comparing to the um the True Double Action Pull Station, the one you can break the glass, but this one's actually different. So it's different. All you literally have to do to lift to pull it is you need to simply want to do is once again fire alarm lift and pull pull down and Potter, but it's different. So you simply want to do is lift and pull, even though that the cover says it, and you pull it down. So basically, when you pull down the pull station, this groove right here is smooth. And also, I only I only have um three keys that that thing that thing can take. So this one can take one of these, one of that, or like one of one of this whatever, or one of one of these things. The one you can put in the pull station. So I'm gonna reset with this one. And basically, this pull station is not spring loaded, so this one flies back up. And that you close it. So that is the Potter pull station. Oh, one more thing. We look in the inside. As you see, this thing right here, this button, is actually activated because basically, when you pull it, this thing will activate. So that is the metal pull station, which is called the Potter pull station. All right, now let's see what we have. What we have so far. Oh, I forgot the thing in there. This thing, this thing already got came with. So right here we have the Edwards Pull Station. So once again, this is actually different, as you can see. But I have it on the back box, and I also super glued it, as you can see. So the way to pull the pull sta pull down the pull station, all you literally have to do is just simply want to do is take this little bar and pull it down, just like this. Just like that. And to reset it, you're going to take your CAT45 keys here. Also, they have two forty two forty five CAT keys here. So I'm going to go ahead and reset it. I'm going to reset it. Put it switch back to normal. Oh, and then maybe you can put it back up and then close it, I guess. Inside. Oh, the thing is the inside. Just There you go. I don't know why this thing does have this piece in there. But I'll, I'll let me go ahead and reset it. And where's okay? And then I'll go ahead and reset it. There you go. So that is the um pulse station. Wait, wait. Before you get into that, I'm gonna look in the inside. Oh. Oh. So right here, at base when you pull down the pulse station, this switch flies back up. So yeah. Dang, I just spin myself. So, that is this um, pull station, which is this pull station, even though I have super glue on the lock. So, so that's this one. All right. So, on our next or third device, which I'm, I mean, our fourth, yeah, our next device that we got is called a Gentex Commander 3. So, right here, this Gentex Commander 3 is a horn strobe. So, this thing can do whoop, chime, Mechanical horn and other stuff, you know, or twenty four hundred hertz. So you still, so um, as you can see, this model right here, this is made from Gentex, and this this is actually old because I got this one since four years ago, five years ago, like whatever it is. Right here we have the model number. Oh uh, yes, and one more thing, this thing is made is built in February tenth, two thousand three. And the model number is right there. So the model number is GEC312WR. 
Actually, uh, the SCR safety has one of these devices, like this one. Um, so yeah, this one, so this Gentex thing, um, safety security, safety security alert has one of these, and I subscribed to them, so, really cool. So that is a Gentex Commander 3 horn strobe. Yeah, this one's actually multi candela. It makes when you um switch also here also here we have the candela selector here. And right here we have the tones, the one you can switch code three to something, I don't know. But chime should be March time a little bit. So that is the Gentex Commander 3. And we have another one. This one right here is the Gentex Commander 3 Remote Strobe. So as you can see, this one has missed, missing its own logo, as you can see. So um, right here, we have our fire logo, this fire logo here. This is for when there's a fire in the building. So basically when the fire alarm starts, um, this fire thing... Uh, the, uh, the, so, all right, okay, let me say it again. So now this thing right here, about this um strobe, this strobe... This is for fire. This is a fire alarm, as you can see. This logo here, it's, it's called a fire logo, which is, which is actually, tell tells you there's a fire in the building. So yeah, so I got the wrong one. I thought it was a horn strobe. Ha. So that is this, and actually this is multi candela, and there's no horn settings on this one. Once again, no horn setting on here. So that is the Gentex Commander 3 remote strobe. Yes, this one's actually, uh, yeah, and this one is actually stopped working. The strobe stopped working and, yeah, so this thing's dead, actually. Alright, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, we have our, um, Simplex True Alert speaker strobe. Model number is 4969151. This one could be in the red version. So, basically... Once again, True Alert Simplex Fire. And right here we have dirty marks on there. So I don't know why. Sharpie, like whatever it is. So basically, if I turn it to the back, we have the model number. 4969151. We have the date code, I think it's from 10, 190, something like that. I can't read. Yeah, this one's also UL listed. Yeah. This one can play like um, simplex, male or female messages. So, yeah. That's an old one, I guess. This one's old. So, let me just put it back. Okay, let's see what else we got. This is our, our so right here, this is our system sensor SBSW speaker strobe. So, this is actually different. So, as you can see, this strobe, which I'm going to show you now, it is multi candela. And I saw one of these in the building before. And I got this one since 10 years old. So now this is um actually really cool because they have both fire lettering on both sides. But some doesn't. So so this speaker strobe, which I'm going to show you, this is for, so once again, fire do not paint fire alarm device. So this is actually, you, if you like paint the fire alarm device, it tells you that you're not allowed to do that. You know, it, it could ruin the alarm. So, yeah. So right here we have our candela selector which I'm, which I'm going to show you. This is mo this is our multi candela. This multi candela is 110. But so you simply want to do to change it, you need to get your screwdriver which I'm going to show you is unscrew the screw. Like if it's too hard too hard too hard to unscrew. Um I'm I'm going to do it tighter this time. There you go. So you simply want to do is just change it. So I'll pretend that this one's on 75 candela. Or if you want to change it to 30 or whatever. One, 1575 candela. Of course, it's, no, not this one. This one is going to be an outdoor. Or you can change it to 15 candela if you want. So I will stay with um 15 and 75 candela. Even though that is the brightness of the strobe. And I, after that you can snap them in. Snap this thing or screw it in. There you go. So this one's all screwed in and it's done. 
Now I have to put this back. Alright, so we're here. We're going to move on to this one, which is our last device. And we're we'll going on to our second row now. This is called a multi-CD speaker strobe. So this is not actually um, ceiling mount. This is wall mount. I mean, this is not actually wall mount. This is ceiling mount. So the way to install it onto the ceiling, it install it on the ceiling, it means you have to put this right up here to the ceiling. Like, even though like, this thing could be ceiling mount, even though that there's no... F so... So basically it could be ceiling mount, like if it's mounted on the ceiling. And right here we have no fire alarm lettering. So this one does not have fire alarm lettering on both sides. It, it's blank as you can see. And right here we have our speaker here. And actually this is one, so this one is actually working. So this the strobe works, but as you can see there are bugs inside. And right here we have, the, also we have that graph. So th that means there's a fire in the building. Like if there's no fire in the building, like there's this the this thing would be taken off, and I'm gonna look in the inside. I'll be looking in the inside of this um speaker device here. I will remove this. Remove the cover. Yep, we have a model number. I I don't know. Right here we have our multi candle selector here. Well, maybe you can switch it to 2, 1, 102, or 104, or 1 slash 4, whatever. And right here we have our candela. So we have 15, 30, 75, and 95 candela, which is actually cool. And right here we have the speaker, but it's low. So I, I had that test in, like in 8 months ago and 9 months ago now, which is called September 2023. So, yeah. So that's our this device. Now, let's move on to our second row, and on the third row, and then we'll move on to the exit signs, okay? Okay, now back, sorry. Um, right here, we'll move on over here. We have our system sensor, um, 12P, 121575. This is a special classic horn strobe. So, the horn strobe, as you can see, I have super glue around it, even though it's not even, uh, because it's hanging off for no reason. So, right here, this thing is messed up. And right here we have its own back box. Mod number P P twelve fifteen seventy five. I already read that wrong. And right here we have one screw missing here. And right here we have um positive and negative wires. So yeah, that is the system sensor special or classic. It looks like the Gentex Commander three. Does it does it look like? And right here we have this thing, but this is not this is not actually multi candela. This is an outdoor rated device. So this is 1575 candela. This is for mental this is for hazard environments like from outside, that kind of stuff. So yeah. So that is the system sensor horn strobe. Or system sensor special alert. Spectre alert. Classic horn strobe. Okay, so over here we have um our back box here. So this back box can be used for the ceiling mount speaker strobe or wall mount, what this is for my for ceiling mount, I guess. Like, let's say if you have the this thing, like the once again this this thing could fit in it, as you can see. So basically, this thing could be a wall mount or ceiling mount. So this one could be mounted onto the ceiling. So yeah, and after that, you can put you're gonna put in all your wires in these holes here, and after that, you're you'll be done with it. So that is the back box for. The, for the ceiling and also on the wall too. All right, let's see what else. And on, and, and, and also another one we have an um our outdoor rated fire alarm we lock device. This, so this is actually different. You see this thing? Well, the both sides fire fire. So this one is an RSS um we lock RSS strobe. But no, this one's actually different. So as you oh. So now this um horn strobe, which I'm gonna show you, it has the um the strobe. Even though that this thing is, so this thing can flash right here. And actually, this is not um indoor. Once again, this is outdoor rated, and I have one horn strobe or two devices that they're rated. I mean, yeah, one device. Sorry, that is rated outdoor rated. So um, now right here. Um, we have our screws here, and even though it's um 
onto its own back box. If I unscrew these screws, this thing right here, you'll see the screws and also in the wire too, the wiring. And um, I don't know what the phone number is because I can't t I can't take this part out, you know, you know it could it could damage the alarm something like that. See, yeah, I saw it hanging off. Yeah, and also I have its own rated back box on the side. So that is the um the Wheelock RSS. Oh, oh, one more thing before we get into that, if I put this away, as you see, we have this um big hexagon here. So let's say if you have a put an alert strobe in here, like even though they could be alert or fire alarm or something like that, or you may put the speaker on this, even though that the speaker can play fire messages on there, like fire light simplex or something. So that is the fire alarm bell strobe or re RSS strobe. All right, now let's see what else we have. Something that is still broken. Right here we have the notifier. Um, right here we have a notifier BG10 and BGX101L. So I don't know why it's still broken as you see this is actually broken So you the way all to pull it all you really have to do so this one's actually dual action So you need to push this in or if you don't want to push it in you could take your fingernail and then you put it onto the notifier logo So the way to pull it is you need to push in which I'm going to show you push in pull down Oh my unhappy Father's Day. Um, so once again, fire alarm. So once again, it's dual action. So you literally have to do is push in, pull down. And that's basically when you pull it down, this thing act actually activates. So yeah, right here we have our sticker button here. And this one's actually spring loaded here. So yeah, that is this, that's, so that's this pull station. Okay, so on the, on the, on the other hand, we have our simplex. No, this is actually different. This one is red. So once again, we have our, our red simplex truller speaker strobe. Um right here. This once again truller simplex fire. So this one is actually could be a wall mount. Like yeah, let's say it had the simplex bat box on there. So yeah. And also the strobe can flash. So so this one's actually different. I don't have this one. I only have this one though. The already read review, I mean, already reviewed, which is called the white speaker strobe. Okay, so on our last one, we have our Edwards Pulse Station. An Edwards Pulse Station, which I'm going to show you. This one is actually different, but with no lock. So once again, lift and pull handle and pull for fire. And it's activated. And no, and no Edwards sticker in it. Once again, put down that switch back to normal. And close it. Um, after you're and I, now reset it and it's closed. So really cool Now let's move on to our last one. Okay, so our last device which I'm going to show you this is a Lithonia lighting LHQM AC only exit sign so an AC only exit sign is right here. There's no test button or LED It's just regular so this it's gonna be cool So right here basically in the power outage the exit sign turns off so yeah and right here we have our side to mount it onto the ceiling and wall mount. So really nice. So yeah. So that is an AC only exit sign. And I got this one since one year ago. Okay. So our um thing, we have an emergency light. We have our Lithonia lighting emergency light right here. And right here, this is this is not an exit sign, actually. This is an emergency light. So emergency light is when there's when there's an emergency the lights come on and basically when the power is out the emergency lights can turn on and in my grandparents house like two years ago this emergency light can turn did turn on so that is the, this thing that is the emergency light okay so on to the next one is this this is a a life fixers exit sign combo this is actually Cool because the LEDs and right here this thing which I'm going to show you this is actually green but not red so I do have exit signs that they're green and red right here we have our circle LEDs here this one can rotate left and right and something like that right here our test button this one's actually the test button doesn't work so that is this so, 
once again, this one actually works, but the test button doesn't work. So I only have one of these that they're working, that they're working. So that's this thing. All right, so right here we have our black commercial electric emergency light. So right, so this one right here is black. So this one right here is just different comparing to the Lithonia lighting, um, emergency light, but this is different. See this? See, see these? Now on the inside they have LEDs. So right here they're both are different. So you test it is you need to push the test button. So basically when you push the test button, the LED turn will stay on. Or and, and also in the power outage, the light turns off. This the LED light. So once again, test and AC old AC on. And right here we have our black and white wires. Which is which are which are there. So it's good it's gonna be cool. So that is the emergency light here. Okay, so we have four more devices to go. So right here we have a um black or I mean white oval emergency light. So once again, this one has circle lights here. So this one can rotate left and right and also it goes down. Just like that. I have these at my dad's factory, which is nice. And right here we have a test button. This one red test button should be red. And right here I also have the plug on this, but I have tape on it. Like it's good it's actually can stick together even though I can turn it on. And also I have this missing screw right there. And I can't find one, so I just had it like this on the tape. So that is this emergency light model, the one we got. Okay, we also have this Lithonia Lighting LHQM exit sign combo. This right here is has circle LEDs once again. So once again, exit Lithonia Lighting. And right here, basically when you push the test button, this LED, this red, so it says AC on, but now it says ready. So in the ready light means it's, it's a red LED, you're going to go ahead and test it. Or if it's, or if the LED does turn off and this thing is unplugged, the exit will be turning off and this thing will stay on. And basically when you push it, the test button, this thing actually will be dead. So, bad. And basically, basically when it's plugged in, the emergency lights turn, turn on, boom. And that is that of this. And I also have the black version with one of these, so, which is really cool, I believe. So that is the Lithonia Lighting LHQM Combo Unit. And we have two more to go, and then we're done. Right here we have the Lithonia Lighting um, Exit Sign Combo in green. So this one is available in red. So I do not have the red lens for it because it's lost. So once again, Exit Lithonia Lighting. So do you see this little thing? Well, th th these are actually LED, which means that this one can... Um, turn on, there's a real power outage, the LED. Right here we have the red AC on light, which is here, and also the test button. So basically when you push the test button, this thing will light up. Basically the, the, the LED turns off, and the exit sign, and this one can turn on. So that is this one. The, the Lithonia lighting exit sign. The one that has small LEDs. <clears throat> So, so here we have our last one. It is called the Commercial Electric Emergency Light. We have our last device to go. So right here, this one's you all listed. So this one's from Commercial Electric. You see this little hole? Now, actually, I'm trying to put it onto the wall, but I didn't. So once again, we have test button. And also, we have the AC on light, which is missing. I don't know why. But, yeah. <coughs> right here, we have the red wire. The common wire. Also, we have the black wire. I mean, not the black wire. The white wire, which is called the common wire. And our last one is the white wire. I will take this off now. Now, right here, we have these things for connecting the battery. This one. We have the gray and black, um, gray and brown wire, which are connected to the lights. And yeah, I got this one since two years ago, which is December, twenty twenty one. 
So that is this um black, I mean white, white emergency light unit. So that is it. All all of this on the on the shelf right there. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great Father's. I mean, and I'll have a great day. And also happy Father's Day.